We are on problem number five. Problem number five. First of all, we're going to draw a free body diagram. All right. One thing I want to talk to you about now, before we could draw the free body diagram, it's sort of out of order. Part two says friction is not mentioned in the problem. Is it present? Here we go. Kristen, what do you think about that? Okay, so what Kristen is saying is that there must be friction present because if we've got F acting this way, we've got normal force acting this way, MG acting this way, right? If we did all that and we resolved this into components, we would have a positive X component and a positive Y component. We know that that's going to affect the normal force, and we'll calculate that in a minute. But in this situation here, if these balanced, then we'd be left with a positive X component as the net force. Okay? If we know that the net force is equal to zero, there has to be a force acting this way to balance out the remaining exponent of the, uh, of the applied force, that uh, string or whatever it is, the tension up there. All right. So now to draw our free body diagram, we have our force acting up here with our angle theta. What else do we have? The easy one. Yeah, we got mg acting downward. What else we have acting and acting upward. and acting upward? And what else did we say we have? We have to account for we have friction acting in this direction. All right, so that's our free body diagram. Okay? Now, if we know that the net, if we know that it's moving at a constant velocity, which it says right here, of five meters per second, that means that we know that the net force is equal to zero. All right? So the overall net force is equal to zero. That means that net force in the x direction is equal to zero, and net force in the y direction is also equal to zero. OK? All right, knowing that, where do we go from there? All right, first thing we're asked is, what's the magnitude of the normal force acting on this 9 kilogram block? Right? To evaluate the normal force, we're going to be thinking about what's going on in the x direction or the y direction? The y direction. All right. So now, what's going on in the y direction? we got mg. This is not a real free body diagram because we're using components. We have that, and we have normal force acting upward, and we have the y component of that applied force all acting in the y direction. Okay? So now when we set up our two-equation strategy for stuff that's going on in the y dimension, we know net force in the y direction is equal to zero, net force in the y direction, actually let me go back, let's do it in a full on way here, is equal to M-A-Y. Why is that true? Why is F equals M-A true? It's always true, it's the law, but it just so happens that we know it's equal to zero. Net force in the y direction is also equal to, remember this is what we did in Mach 51. We thought about what is going on in each dimension. We came up with expressions for net force or the forces acting, the components acting in the y direction and the x direction. So what's going on in the y direction? We have what acting upward? Normal force. Anything else acting upward? All right. Fy. We'll just call it Fy. And anything acting in the negative direction? Mg. All right. So now we take those two. We set them equal to each other. And from that, I'm not going to do two steps. I'm just going to do one. Are you guys okay with N plus Fy is equal to Mg? All right, we just added Mg to each side. Since that side was zero, it just comes out like that. So now we're solving for the normal force. So to solve for the normal force, N is equal to Mg minus Fy. All right, normal force is equal to Mg, the weight of the object, minus the Y component of that tension force. All right? And that's going to be equal to F sine theta, OK? Because here's our F, here's our Y component, here's our X, uh, um, X component, Y component, here's theta. I'll let you do the trick, OK? So now, does that make sense, though? That means that the normal force is going to be less than mg. Does that make sense? Yes. Yes, because normal force is a lazy force, right? It only acts as much as it needs to. So if that that tension is acting up a little bit, right? The normal force is going to kick it back just a little bit. Say, so I need to work so hard today. I'll just apply just enough force so that us together we can counteract mg. All right, so now we just plug in numbers. N is equal to mg, still nine kilograms. 
times 9.8 meters per second squared minus the magnitude of force F was 45 newtons, right? Times the sine of 27 degrees. All right, and then we just get somebody in the calculator brigade to plug all that in, and what do we get? 67.8 newtons. All right, now, this does confuse some people. N is equal to 67.8 N. That's only true if N is equal to zero. Um, but if it confuses you, thank you, if it confuses you, you could say Fn, and that's why, that's why they say, one of the reasons they say to do that in the mop exercises is so you don't get confused when you're doing normal force. So sometimes people use a little n for normal force, sometimes an n. All right, if it confuses you, just do something like this so we don't run into that problem. All right.